morning everyone, I am Sangeeta. We are from Vilkananda Government Degree College. Our project is Dear Student Management, a case study of present person in Hyderabad. And uh, these are the outline of the presentation we are going to discuss in this project. And our aim is to create awareness among people regarding urban foods and dear student management. And our objective is promoting a culture of prevention, mitigation, preparedness, prompt response, issue and relief, and rehabilitation, reconstruction, and resilience at all levels of knowledge, innovation, and education. This is the main motive of our aim and objective in this presentation and in next two sections. Introduction of disaster management. Nowadays, disaster management is very essential and important issue throughout the world wide to minimize the loss of human beings and their loss of properties. In this case study, we will be knowing about recent floods and disasters that are occurring in especially in Hyderabad. Urban floods. Urban floods is the accumulation of flood waters when the inflow of storm water exceeds the capacity of drainage system to infiltrate the water to soil or to carry it away. Cause of urban flooding. Urban flooding is caused due to the two factors, namely direct factors and indirect factors. In direct factors, it will be due to two factors, natural factors and urbanization. Indirect factors is also known as man-made factors. Flood affected areas. The areas that are affected by floods are Sarunagar, Ramanthapur, Uppal and many more. Over to Andhra. Disaster management. Disaster management involves a continuous and integrated process of planning. That before the disaster, what we have to do, and after the disaster, what we have to do is firstly you have to take the preventions of danger or threat. Then you have to be well prepared to deal with any disaster. Then you have to give any prompt. Uh, you have to give prompt response to any disaster situations. You have to equip the Evacuate the people, you have to rec rescue them and make them in relief. Rehabilitation and reconstruction, the authority should uh, provide some facilities and mix to the people who face a disaster and they, they have to shelter them. Disaster Management Act 2005. Under this disaster, the government of India established ND NDMA uh, headed by Prime Minister SDMA headed by Chief Minister and DDMA headed by District Collector. Next, Prevention measures of flooding. Some of the preventions are developing small cities. The idea of small city is to make the city permeable so it can hold and use the water falls upon it. Small city absorbs the rain water and it is naturally filterized by the soil and uh, reached through urban artifacts. To improve the city's capacity of absorbing water, the new porous materials and technology must be increased. And some more examples are creating floodplains and overflow areas for rivers, separating rainwater from the sewer system, install water infiltration and attenuation systems, keep sewer system clean so it can do its job, and also building sustainable drainage like permeable pavement, sidewalks, and gardens. Over to Sunday. You can see some of the photos of lakes. This is under level construction of buildings near lakes without permission. The, food, the land water is getting polluted by garbage flowing in water. It obstructs the flow of water. We We visited and uh, collected, collected information from GHNC head office and state disaster management authority. Next we will continue with us. At last, conclusion and suggestions. From this study we can conclude that urban floods are not only due to natural calamities but also due to man-made mistakes like illegal constructions, destroying the lakes, occupying the nalas throwing the garbage into the lakes and malas, under level construction buildings near the lakes. To minimize the deaths and loss of properties and to face the challenges 
like urban floods which suggested that immediate removal of illegal constructions near the lakes and nalas. Educate and bring awareness among the people. Strict implementation of NDMA Act 2005.